Today's guest on the Travel Punks podcast, my friend Marissa Mattis, stand-up comedian, professional masseuse, and psychedelics enthusiast. We discuss dealing with creeps at the World Series of Poker, the challenges of being a liberal in Trump's America, her work at an ayahuasca clinic in Peru, and accidentally ordering an erotic massage not once, but twice, in Kathmandu. See her one-hour special at marissamattis.com. That's Marissa with two S's, Mattis with two T's and a Y-S, Dot com. Ladies and gentlemen, Marissa Mattis. So where have you been in Asia? Nepal. Nepal. Just Nepal? Yep. And we were talking a little <clears throat> earlier about how you accidentally signed up for a rub and tug massage in Nepal. Would Should we, we talk about this? Would we? Sure. Uh, would we say rub and tug? No. What I... <laughs> okay. So I've been traveling a lot. I know people who say that. So, well, <laughs> so and they don't mean it. <laughs> like, oh, rub. I'll oh, rub. they often oh, mean it. No, no, no. That's yeah. That's very much a thing. Not what I signed up for. Um, so I get to Kathmandu, and I was meeting an ex there, and like we really didn't know each other that well at all. So I was like, oh, I've been traveling. An ex that you didn't know that well. Well, he wasn't an ex then. Uh, he was I like. See. About to be a, a thing. future ex. Yeah, he's. A- <laughs> what is the word? That's like the future participle or the future perfect for a future ex. You know, all of time and space is happening all at once, so I have no idea how to talk about it. Oh but in terms of like whatever. But now we're gonna get into relativity and slicing the bread with the alien on the other planet. Even deeper in expertise. I like it. Yeah. But Knock it out. anyway, he was somebody that I had met and then kind of found out that, you know, I was turning 30 and I was like, well, I'm traveling to Australia, but I can tack on another trip and like I might go somewhere else or I might just stay in Australia for a little while or whatever. Like after work is done, I have a, a little bit of time. He's like, where do you want to go? I was like, maybe here, there, blah, 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 maybe Nepal. And so he was like, oh, I've always wanted to go. No one will go with me, which is like not a good sign. Wait, who wanted to go? You or him? I, I said it, but he was like, I've always wanted to go too. <laughs> you no like one hooked on go. to one of several he, things you said. And I, he was like, I was like, do you want to hang out in Kathmandu? And he was like, yeah. I think there's a song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we went and he's, he's a lovely human being um, and it didn't work out and it's fine. Um, he, that's why it's special when it does. It doesn't right. happen that often. Um, but we went and, but I, I got in a day before him. And so I was like, well, I know my feet are huge. They travel. They my feet. Every part Your of my feet are huge. My feet travel very poorly compared to the rest of me. Like my ankles swell so bad. My my poor little feet. They're so fat. We're doing good. We're good. Cool. Just check. Um, just checking the the uh, whether we're still recording. Right. Um, so when I when I travel, my feet swell for like long, long, long flights. My feet swell every time. Happened forever. So these huge little feet, and I was like, well, maybe I'll go get a massage to help my feet look cuter for this man that I have feelings (laughs) for, but we haven't slept together yet. And I was like, oh. And and so I was like, well, where do I go for a massage? Like, what's, I'm fine. I'm in Nepal. Like, where can I go for a great massage? And they're like, oh, this is where we take all the tourists. So, like, they kind of told us. What's Kathmandu like? Awesome. I met my match. I love Kathmandu. I did have a cough for, like, three weeks afterward. A Um, cough? because mm-hmm, everything's sort of... Well, that happens every time I get a cold, so that's not going to deter me. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. It's great. Um, and I maybe got a cold while we were hiking around it's and mountains, tracking right? stuff. Kathmandu, uh, not as much. The Himalayas are in Nepal. True, but you fly to Lukla or you fly to... Oh, yeah, the other one that I actually went to. I didn't go to Lukla. I went to... But Kathmandu is cold? Yeah, Kathmandu is great. It's this big, crazy city. It's always under construction. So you do want a mask. Like, get a mask, for Christ's sake. <laughs> That's what my friend told me. <laughs> um, my other friend who lives there. and uh, Like, Nepalese people show up in the airport wearing a mask, and they're like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Why are you <laughs> yeah, breathing exactly, the fucking air? <laughs> exactly. It's not good. Everybody has a mask there. Um, but it's, it's magical, and I really... I could have spent so much time there. I, like, moved there, spent That's time amazing there. to me that you moved someplace where you need a mask. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, but I was like, oh, I would like it a lot. What and was it? Was it the food, the people, the, like, arts, the culture? I don't remember what issue it is, but Grant Morrison says in The Invisibles, like, if you listen to a city, it will speak with you. It'll tell you something. Kind of, that was the vibe of it. I'm butchering right, right. that quote, but... Um, 
and it just spoke a really distinct way and I really liked it. And there's just a lot of magic that's sort of normalized into just living in the city, sort of. Um, that feels kind of like all, if you talk about like magic and synchronicity or like kind of different factors colliding to like put you in a certain place or tell you a certain message or something like that. Like, um, and that's, that's just a, I felt like it was just a little bit more normalized. Like you're not like a comic book freak. Like you are in New York city. If you start talking about that stuff, what stuff? Well, just serendipities and the way that if you're just quiet in a city, certain things will come to you in amidst all the din and the kind of the chaos of the city. It's a very, I found very chaotic city, but, um, I loved it. I loved it. And the person I was with, he was like, oh, this, he was French. And he was like, is this filthy place? This is horrible. Do you like this? And I was like, shut up. I'm trying to listen to the city. And he was like, you told me to shut up. And I was like, yeah, I did. I'm sorry. And I'm not. I'm not. You're not sorry. 100% I told you to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I full on yeah. told you to shut your French mouth. Just stand there and look pretty. <laughs> Uh, but he's like, like I said, he's a lovely human being. Anyway, okay, the massage, yeah, the massage. Yeah, yeah. So I arrived. I have these fat feet. I was like, I need a massage. So the hotel, lovely, lovely hotel was like, yeah, they talked with the cabbie and the cabbie was like, great, I'll take her to that place. And I didn't understand it, but it's kind of like the massage envy of Nepal. All right. They're very kind of scripted massages. Same one everywhere which i found out because i went twice on accident but it's like where like all the all the tourists go and yeah i was like eh, it's not that good of a massage whatever but um i think she asked me like so she's working on me and and for one thing all the strokes are going toward the feet kind of the opposite thing like As a woman ma- yes okay um and i'm fine with man or woman massage therapists they're both great some of the best massages i've ever gotten are from men um but this, I think, yeah, they were both, yeah, they were women, or it was a woman, and she was like, oh, and there, there is a language barrier, but they kind of have this script to, that mm-hmm. they know in English, and they're like, oh, do you like abdominal work? And I said, sure, because I like abdominal work. But then she starts kind of working on pecs, and I was like, cool, I'm <laughs> sore there as well, and that's very normal. But then she starts like kind of going closer to the nipple, and I was like, but that's kind of normal. Like breast massage in Europe is very normal and it's all limp. So it's, it's healthy. It's good for you. Um, but it's just not done in America, but I was like, Oh, whatever. But then you don't really have nipple massage anywhere in the world unless it's another thing. (laughs) And I just was like, Oh my God, my nipples are hard and they're going like, she's kind of working on them. Like uh, there's no, there's just not a therapeutic benefit to like that much nipple work. (laughs) And I was like, oh, did I just get sex work on accident? <laughs> and then I was in the other city that I can't remember the name of that's making me crazy. It's not Lukla, but the one that you fly to to do, um, like, Poon Hill and the other, like, the other loop that you do. Poon Hill? Poon Hill, which sounds gross as yeah. well, but it was fine. Okay. It was great. Um, <laughs> yeah, get me a ticket to Poon Hill. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. You watch Sunrise and it's beautiful. <laughs> it um, and you see, oh my god, I'm doing such a bad job, I can't remember, it was a few years ago, and now I'm like, oh, I didn't think I was going to talk about this for some reason, even though this is totally a travel podcast, but anyway. Uh, it's travel it's travel adjacent. Can we just Google it? Can we have, like, where's our where's our producer to Google? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my friend Evan was supposed to come around, but he's doing other shit. Doing other stuff, yeah, don't worry yeah. about it. Um, I need an intern. I'm on <laughs> Facebook for an intern. <laughs> Yeah, that's ab- absolutely the a other good thing to name do. of the city that I can't find that I've been to twice. Anyway, so I'm in the city. We finished trekking. We did what should have been like a six or eight day hike, and we did it in four days because that's all we had. And we got in a guide, and they're like, "Yeah, you can just push through it." But we were hiking for like ten hours a day, and I'd been training to eliminate the stress of like being with somebody new and then like traveling. So I was like, "I'll just get really fit, so we can eliminate that stress <laughs> of being like, oh, my body hurts." And I was like, "No, I'm pretty strong. Like I've been like running in Telluride." Um, and he's like, uh, "I don't do stairs, and the entire hike is stairs." <laughs> like he's like, "Not even the third floor on my in my office." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, uh, well." Oh, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be. I'll be. I'll. It's gonna be fine. Uh, but anyway, we get back and I'm this like, this guy sounds amazing. Ah, uh, yeah, he, he is. He's a neuroscientist. He sounds like I'm making him up, but he's like a French neuroscientist. That, yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> like anyone will believe that. Yeah, I know, but it's a thing that fucking happened. That's my whole life. Is like, well, is that a lie? I'm like, no. Um, <laughs> but. 
anyway, we finished this hike. He, we go to the hotel on the, the last day in this city that I can't remember the name of. And he's like, I was like, oh, let's go get massages. And he's like, no, 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 I have to sleep. I have to sleep. I do a f- oh, terrible French accent, but what I'm trying. Um, I was like, well, I'm going to go. And so I asked the lady, I was like, well, where do you go? And they're like, go to this place. And it's the chain. It's this massage MB of Nepal that I didn't know was a thing. And I was like, oh, I had up here fucking again. This massage wasn't that good. And they do the same script and the same massage, blah, blah, blah. And then this time when she was like, do you like abdominal work? I was like, that's okay. But with language barrier, that just sounds like, okay. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, so like, my nipples are going again. again. And I was okay. like, oh, shit. I did it twice in a week? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I was like, well, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't like, I didn't mean for who that Who were you apologizing to? Well, just because, like, uh, it, it, Wait, it, who? It, it, it hurt, but, like, not really. It hurt? Like, No, her. Her. Like, the woman who was working on me because I was, like... So I just tipped her a lot and, like, maybe too much because they looked at me, like... And I was, like, no, well, like, just... uh, I didn't ask for this and I didn't... I didn't mean to get sex work twice in a week, but I think I did. (laughs) So my response is to give you more money. Yeah, I was just, like, "Uh, I guess I'll tip I feel like you earned it. Weird. (laughs) I don't We usually pay a lot more for this in the United States because it's illegal. I guess. Or, like... You know, it's a date. Or <laughs> no, uh, I didn't I'm... even buy you drinks. <laughs> yeah, like normally, I do get dinner, but I feel like the power dynamic is all kind of fucked up in this scenario. So I guess I'll tip a lot. <laughs> oh, I don't know. 